<clears throat> all right good morning good morning good lovely people and uh i'm trying to get ready for work and everything <laughs> <laughs> but I took a couple of minutes. I didn't watch, you know, I didn't watch the whole thing. And I've watched a few reactions because I just didn't want to give Miss Laura Lee any views. But I see she didn't monetize it. So it's okay. We can watch it because she has she was smart enough not to monetize it to really piss people off. But <clears throat> I'm about to give Apology 101. This is not just for Laura Lee, but we're gonna use her as our example. Apology 101 for YouTubers. Lord, let's talk about how you apologize for some bullshit that you've done. So, let's go step by step. First off, Apology 101 on YouTubers, please do not edit. We can see your jump cuts. We can see that you have taken time to edit. So, therefore, we know that you had to fix it and change some things and blah, blah, blah. Don't edit. See, I'm not about to edit this. Because I feel like, whatever, I'm going to say what the fuck I want to. So don't edit. Let it flow the way it's going to. That's number one. Number two. And this is the big one. Own up and take responsibility for whatever you're apologizing for. And make it clear what you are apologizing for. I know, I know this, is, this seems to be problematic for people. They kind of dance around it because they really don't want to say, repeat rehash what everyone's pissed off about but if you have this many followers and things you need to just go on to say the truth you just go on and need to say the truth own up to it don't deflect don't make excuses don't say things like it's a retweet when we could all clearly see that you would actually type that shit out because ain't nobody stupid and you've deleted everything calling yourself fixing it so that no one can um dispute what you say don't do that just be accountable for your bullshit just be responsible for the bullshit and take ownership and go forward from there because we are not stupid you're not talking about kids now when you have this many followers they're they've either grown up with you or they're grown as fuck already so be honest accountable responsible damn is that asking too much <clears throat> Number three, do not fake cry. Listen, y'all ain't that good. You all are not actresses. You all are not Academy Award winners. You all cannot make yourself cry on a dime. And if you do, you're editing. So don't fake cry. It's so annoying. We can sense the, we can sense the falseness of those tears. We really can I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here to tell you, we can sense the falseness of your tears, Ms. Lee. Stop it. That shit, and then, and because of your edits, it was clear that you was doing it. Because it was like, this minute, this one, and the next minute, this. <clears throat> so, stop. Stop. Just fucking say what you did. Just fucking don't cry. It would have been more honest if you were just speaking straight up to the camera. Your voice could have cracked here and there, if that's the truth. Or just say fucking what you got to say. It would have been more genuine if you had just been in your regular voice instead of that fake ass crying that everybody's calling you out on. And now you got to deal with it and you're losing more subscribers than ever because of the bullshit. Just look at your numbers. I've been on your social blade. It's not looking good, sweets. I'm just saying. Now it's going to blow over. But it's, there's still going to be a, a touch, a taint, uh, you know, all that. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. And here's the other thing. And I don't know if this was real or not, and I'm not. But um, you're talking about death threats and everything against your family. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm not here to say you're lying. But let me just put that this way. When you're, going, when you're so fake in it, and then you throw that out, that seems like a deflection. That seems like, oh, let me throw this out because then that'll get me some sympathy. You know, like, people are coming in my family. Leave them alone. They might be. I'm not going to dispute you because people are crazy as fuck. But don't, it, the way you put it in there, the disingenuous of your entire delivery makes us all question you. So 
all of this all together is such a bad apology. Such a bad apology. Such a bad apology. So I just want you to learn from this, Miss Laura, not just from what you did, but let's just, you know, the critique of your apology. Mm. And I want other YouTubers to get it too. Listen to me when I say these things because it's just important that if you're going to be out here doing these things that you become more responsible for your actions. See, you want to be praised for the things you do, but there's going to be moments when you got to fix some shit, which means that you're going to have to come better than what you just did. Especially when people can then pull up things that you've done right before the apology that did not seem very sad or upset. So you can't have it both ways. You need to shut up right now. I'm going to need you to be quiet. Don't post any more videos for a minute. Reflect on some things. And oh, and don't start going to do shit with the homeless and all that other stuff trying to prove that you're a better person. Because you wasn't doing that shit before. Before everybody came and came for you with this bullshit. You were not talking about doing those things. You was living your best life. You was doing your shit. You wasn't thinking about anybody that was in a position that was, you know, not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They, that were in need. You wasn't thinking about them. So don't start thinking about them now to clean your image up. It's false. The whole falseness of it. Is annoying. So stop going to the fucking homeless shelters. Stop doing all that shit because you wasn't, you weren't doing that before. Be true to who the fuck you are. Learn from it, but don't fucking do some bullshit just to fucking clean up your image because I'm gonna, we're gonna call you on it. We're gonna call you on it. So I think that's all I have for Apology 101. If I need to do Apology 101 Part 2, I will, considering that y'all keep fucking up, keep fucking up, and keep giving us fodder to talk about y'all asses. Now I want you now, all of you all, to grow the fuck up, be accountable without making excuses. And when I mean be accountable without making excuses, I mean don't blame bullshit that's in, irrelevant to the situation. Don't lie about your actions. Say, I did the shit. It was stupid. I don't know what I was thinking. Those are things to say. All right. Now I'm going to go and finish my day. I'm going to go on and edit this shit right quick. And I'm going to keep it moving. Y'all have a great day. Y'all know. If y'all like it, give it a like. Give me a, leave me a comment. Because I... I, I